Hey guys, Valdarian Penkin here with Wingspan Delivery Services once again with another instructional video. Uh, this one is going to be on wormhole preparation um, and that's referring to uh, making per perches or tacks or you know places where you can keep an eye on a structure, a signature, an anomaly and still be able to warp to zero on it. Um, so what that means is you're perch tack or whatever and let's just use perch for this rest of this video uh, your perch has to be further than 150 kilometers from the target that you're trying to warp to um, this is complicated by when trying to warp places uh, it won't allow you to warp to that location unless it is 150 off but when given the opportunity to warp um, somewhere um, the closest that, the furthest you can go is 150 or sorry, is 100 when you need to be at 150 plus. So how do you overcome this? Well, there's the long slow method, which is slow boating. Uh, a lot more effective if you've got like an interceptor or something and you don't mind being decloaked for a period of time, traveling at 4,000 meters per second. But if you're like me in a cloaky something and you're traveling at 180 meters per second, this can be very time consuming. Um, and not very effective. Um, so, how do you un, uh, overcome this? Well, um, I will show you. So, let's use... I've already got purchase set up on the Relic site and the data site here, um, but I don't have one on the C4, so let's go ahead and do this. Um, first thing you need to know is how to make a bookmark. Okay. The hotkey for this is Control B, and this will bring up your bookmark uh, save location. It will not save until you hit submit, so it doesn't matter where you are in space. Um, it won't start to save that until you hit submit, and it will be where you hit submit at. So um, let's go ahead and warp to within within 100. And then here's the thing. Um, if you look, if you look at this, I'm 9.8 AU away. All right, so I'm going to name this C4 perch. Now, what I do is I wait until I get within, you know, 30, 40,000 off, and then press it. Press enter. The delay will cause this perch. To be further back than you would think okay so there it is right here and now I can warp back to it and now you can see because of the warp speed that I was traveling plus my <laughs> lame DSL connection um, even pressing it at 30 40 thousand um, away from monitoring this portion or the little bar that shows up here um, either one uh, it still puts me 500 off so if you have a better connection you'll probably have a better success with this than I do I'm just used to compensating for any kind of latency issues or whatever but now I have a perch on the C4 and so as you can see um, I warp to the you can warp to these other perches at zero and you will be within warp two range of whatever you're you know making a perch on so for instance in my previous videos you may see that I start off from super far away um, and that's on purpose that gives me a chance to observe who comes in and then where they're going to so once I am here, I start aligning or approaching, and then I can look at their ship using the track method and find out which can they are going to. And instead of trying to slow boat from can to can, let's say you're camping here around this one, but they wanted to hit this one. I like to preserve my sights. Um, I don't want them to even touch the can because that means um, it starts a timer once they do, and then the site will, site will despawn, 
and it gives less opportunity for explorers to enter the site because then there would be no content for them. So once I know which can they're going to, let's just say this one, then I right click warp to within 10 and you will most likely beat them there. I was already aligned towards the cans, so boom, here I am, already here. Once they get within range of your scram and web, um, decloak and do your thing. So I hope that clears some things up. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.